we just got the green light from our our amazing tech department here at CGSW that local band Cheer is all ready to go. Um, and we got you guys. Cheer, how how y'all doing? doing adam very well thanks thanks so much for coming on the failed pilot show today thank you uh why don't why don't you guys uh lay a song on us and then we'll have a little little heart to heart and then uh hear some more music sounds good excellent
Outstanding stuff. For those just joining us, you've just heard Cheer live in the CJSW studios. Gentlemen, how's it all going today? Why did we pick such a hard song to start with? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's all downhill from here, I would say. <laughs> you guys were real, real put on quite a clinic there. There's a lot going on. Oh, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, cheer this. I think your first time performing live on CJSW. Uh, yes. Welcome to the station, and uh, thanks for coming on the Failed Pilot Show. Uh, do you mind uh, introducing yourselves? Uh, sure. My name is Gus. I play guitar and I sing, and I have I have to play the synthesizer now these days. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name's Lyndon. I play the bass and some vocals and stuff. Excellent. Hi, I'm Dylan. Nice to meet you. I play guitar and write songs and stuff. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ethan. I hit things really hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, someone's got to hit those things, Ethan. Someone's so. Got to hit the things. Glad it's you. Uh, yeah, welcome to the studios. You guys uh, seem like you're quite busy here the next couple of weeks. Uh, you have a big show at the Palomino tomorrow night, as yeah. well as uh, your headlining Frog Fest later this month as well. On Saturday, following Saturday. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah back, back to 13th. Yeah. Two days in a row. Outstanding. Uh, now, I guess uh, to kind of get to this busy weekend that you have ahead of you, uh, what's, the, what's the genesis story of Cheer? How'd you guys all get together? Uh, we were all in less good bands, and <laughs> we were like, hmm, how do we, how do we fix this? <laughs> Cut uh, the bands in half and put them together. Yeah, because Lennon and I, I being Gus, uh, Lennon and Gus, we've been playing in bands since high school. And yeah. then we met Dylan, and then all the while, in the background, was Ethan. We didn't even know. Yeah, uh, I, like, I saw like Gus and Lennon play when we were all 16 at like the New Black Center. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's been a long, like, it's been a long road to get here. No, that's outstanding. Now, uh, how long has uh, Cheer been a going concern in the hearts and minds of people? 17, 2017? Yeah, 2017, I think. Okay, outstanding. Now, uh, what's your, do you guys have a recorded output to this point? There is an EP from the, uh, the first iteration of the band and a full length from the last version of that was the three piece before Ethan joined the band. I joined like right at the beginning of 2020. Yeah. Good timing there, Ethan. Right when the pandemic hit, yeah. <laughs> we did get a lot done over that time, I feel. <laughs> yes, we, we've emerged from our chrysalis fully formed. and uh, <laughs> Fully formed, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the metamorphosis is uh, astounding. It's great. Now, I guess, like, uh, from your early iterations to getting to where you are now, has there been kind of a progression in sound? It seems like you guys kind of, uh, you definitely sound like you listen to a lot of different types of music and can play a lot of different types of music. But uh, is that kind of initially how things started out, or is this is where things are at right now? I feel like now we just have the ability to accomplish all of the ideas that we've ever had. Yeah, it's funny, because when we first started, we I, fe I feel like we, all, we were all coming from different places, but now after playing together for, like, five or six years or whatever like we've had a lot of time to really almost influence each other I think and like kind of create our own thing so it's definitely changed from when we first started probably because of that I think <laughs> oh absolutely yeah. now what a great progression and now uh that song we just heard there is that kind of indicative of like the stuff that's kind of on the newer side of things or yeah yeah, that's right when Ethan joined the band, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Now, is there, a, like, a, a means online or otherwise for people to hear your music? Uh, you can find us in all, like, the regular streaming places. However, you should uh, find us on Bandcamp and give us your hard-earned money for a record we spent over half of a year slaving over in my <laughs> hot little basement. <laughs> nice. Um, but, yeah, we've, we've got the EP. We've got the full-length album. Uh, we really don't play many of those songs anymore, but if you want to listen, they are out there. And that'll prime you for coming to see a completely different band. Yeah, it's all good stuff. <laughs> I can well imagine. And uh, you would just look up Cheer on Bandcamp. And yeah, I think it's Cheer the Band or the Band Cheer, one of those two iterations. If you're going to look it up on Spotify, look up, like, Cheer cardinal directions or time and space yeah you got to be specific like, spotify like doesn't like us uh, fair enough uh, doesn't like a lot of folks so you're okay Bandcamp's way better anyways if i made it editorialize um so yeah you guys are, are playing a couple outstanding uh lineups here later this month um why don't you give uh are if you guys don't mind 
you know, another sampling of what people could possibly hear tomorrow night at the Palomino or over at Frogfest, which is actually kind of exciting. You guys are playing Frogfest. Have either anyone here gone to Frogfest before? Yeah, we we played as a three piece like a few yeah. years ago. Okay, I've, I've never been. never gone in my life. And so they're at a very new venue this year. They're not doing it at the farm outside Rocky Mountain House. It's down in Pincher Creek. Very exciting. Yeah, Apparently, there's no trees. It looks amazing. Just from the pictures, it looks very, very nice. Is it like Frank's slide you're playing on top of? Or? Ooh, that'd be fun. No, it's a, I don't know. It's just this like big field, and it's like on a ranch, a cattle ranch. Yeah, but I forget the name of the ranch, but that's, uh, that's Flint name. Rock Ranch. Flint, Flint Rock, there you go, yeah. Very, very cool. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what, as a band, must be one less thing to have on your bucket list. You've played on a ranch. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is our, uh, I think this is collectively our first, like, headlining set of a thing, and much less like a festival that we actually, you know, enjoy and have been to. So it's a pretty cool little milestone. Oh, Thanks congratulations so on that. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, if, if you guys don't mind, uh, do you mind playing a, a few more songs for us? Yeah. Since you ask so nicely, Adam, I will do it <laughs> just for you. Oh, thank you. And, and the 20 other thousand people listening right now. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's only us. <laughs> this one's brand new. It's called Intersections.
For those folks just tuning in, you are listening to Cheer live in the CGSW studios here on the Failed Pilot Show. Do you guys have another song in ya? I think we've uh, yeah we've kind of encountered a technical difficulty. I don't think we can play another one. Oh, that's that's quite all right. Well, uh, yeah, unless anyone carries a spare guitar with them to CGSW. <laughs> uh, trying to quit, but thanks. <laughs> Uh, no, I really, really appreciate you guys uh, coming in up and sharing your music. We got folks texting into the booth saying that it sounds really, really good. So uh, for those folks who want to kind of capture more of this magic on your own, you can see Cheer tomorrow night at the Palomino. They'll be playing with Death Lettuce and Catfish the Wizard, which sounds 
very intriguing. Uh, in addition to playing Frog Fest, uh, is it this the Saturday after? Yeah. yeah. Uh, excellent. Which uh, I think if you go to frogfest.ca, if I'm not mistaken, you can find out more about tickets and schedules for yes. that uh, iconic festival, which is making its return at an entirely new venue. So, uh, yeah, that's great. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming to the station and uh, sharing the music. Thanks yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you.